So to cover my meals. All right, so uh, this time we're going to do a little three-part series. Um, part one being hollandaise. Um, part two being house cured salmon and how to poach an egg. And on the final part, we're going to throw all those things together and we're going to make eggs benedict from home. Everyone makes hollandaise, you know, to be this super hard sauce to make. Um, obviously, it's delicious, but really, if you don't overthink it, it's not too hard. Um, you can buy clarified butter at the grocery store. Um, I was lazy and didn't want to rummage through all the aisles, so I just went and got regular stick butter. Um, what you're going to do is just simmer it really low, um, and then as it melts, you'll see all the milk solids come to the top. There's uh, three parts in butter, water, milk solids, and then the actual um, fat. Um, so you're just going to want to skim that off, and then I do three egg yolks. Uh, this is a juice of one lemon and salt to taste. All right, so in the process of making hollandaise, you actually are cooking the eggs just a little bit. Um, so you're going to get out a pot of water just like this, or if you have a double boiler, that works too. Um, see where we're at right now is it's steaming, but it's not quite simmering or boiling. Uh, this is right where you want to be. And then you're going to take your mixing bowl and set it on top. And you just want to make sure that this never boils, because if it boils, it's going to uh, overcook your eggs, and you're going to end up with a scrambled hollandaise. five minutes of whisking and continuously watching it um, slowly adding in the butter I've got this nice thick hollandaise right here you gotta finish it off a couple cracks of salt you can add pepper chives whatever you like um, but technically this right here is a finished product if you get to this point and you feel like your hollandaise is a little thicker than you would like it to be um, there is one last thing you can do you take cold water just the smallest little bit and same way you pour it in the butter you're just gonna slowly add it in and whisk it in there a couple drops at a time whisk it all together make sure it doesn't break all right so this right here is the perfect consistency that i'm looking for so you know once you finish your product it's easy to thicken it up or loosen it up um, just make sure you continually whisk it so you don't break it and ruin all that hard work that you just did. Well, there you have it guys. Hollandaise made simple. Stay tuned for the next couple parts and we'll show you the rest of the way to make a delicious eggs benedict. Thanks for watching.